Yes, today we are finally back with the next part of Stay the Night on the episode out by the amazing author Earl Grey Tea. If you have not seen the last few episodes, go catch up on those. But a quick little thing is our girl got a scholarship for a million dollars to Ivy League. Yes, Ivy League. Then she met with Mrs. Aldridge, who cut her a deal if she was to babysit her son and keep him out of trouble. He's an adult and also in the school, by the way. Then she would receive an additional million dollars. Except little did she know, this rich kid won. There's a whole backstory with him about a dead girl and all this stuff, but he throws a nightclub every night in his apartment, every single night the hottest party of the day. It's a daily nightly party, whatever you want to call it. So she just moved in and walked out of her room and was absolutely shook that there is a nightclub in her new apartment and she is about to go in on this guy except she fell into his lap and I think the spark is real. So we're going to see what happens. Please go follow the amazing author Earl Grey T. Her Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And without further ado, let's start the drama. What's your next move, little sheep? So also here is the gorgeous artwork. This is where we left off. We went in to confront him and be like, this night society thing you're running, it's over. But our poor girl Luna is so sweet and she had a little trip and this is where we ended up. What is she gonna do? Are they gonna kiss? No, they're not gonna kiss. We're, we're not there yet. They just met, although they have the very interesting backstory, which you're gonna find out, but something in me snapped and I quickly scrambled to my feet. Camden seemed amused as he eyed me curiously. He's eyeing her hungrily too, so I guess we're done here. No, we're not done. You need to shut down the night society. The playful atmosphere was gone. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he's mad. His dark eyes smoldered with anger as he stood from his seat and straightened to his full height. What did I tell you this morning? You have no say here. But, but Miss, Mrs. Aldridge said, is Mrs. Aldridge here right now? Who gave you the right to order me around? Do you even know me? Nobody tells me what I can or cannot do, especially not someone blinded by greed. Greed? I was told that you accepted a million dollars from my mother to help her put me on a leash. Feel free to play my mother's puppet, but you don't have a hold over me. You don't even know me. You just assumed what my mother said about me was true because she's the one with the money. Quite frankly, I'm disappointed. You agreed to live with a complete stranger all for a couple of quick bucks, desperate much? Little does he know he did it because her parents... For the second time tonight, he rendered me speechless. He spoke of nothing but the truth. But it's not the truth. I mean, it's half truth. I had jumped on the million dollar offer and I even went to the extent of lying to my mother's. So was I truly that desperate? I could feel the tears welling up in my eyes. Camden seemed to have noticed this as he shifted uncomfortably, almost as if he was regretful. He muttered something inaudible under his breath before he strode across the room towards the door. It's like he doesn't know that look if you hate what's going on outside you know where the door is uh oh she didn't know i'm not going down without a fight my mother's did not raise a quitter if he doesn't stop the party i will okay can we talk about how luna it grew a backbone and she's about to go in okay no fighting break it up if you want to fight someone fight me go off sis go off Oh, I'm loving this, Luna. Everyone keep your voices down. We can't have any noise complaints. What is that white pill? <laughs> I love Luna. It's a hangover prevention pill. I have a morning class tomorrow. Then you shouldn't even be here. No drugs. I love this. Who hired the nanny? My mother. She rented out the guest room behind my back. She finally did it. Hasn't she been threatening you with that for years? I can't believe she finally entrusted the huge task of taming Camden to someone so petite and cute. <laughs> I love this. She looks like a sheep. Why is she butting into everything? She's such a buzzkill. Should we stop her? Throw her out of here? Just leave her be. There must be another way to stop this. Scare everyone with your bad singing, girl. Do it. I'll go turn up the volume to drown out the dying cats. You know what? Put on the performance of a lifetime. <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay, why do I have the feeling we're going to have such a beef with? Or Camden, there's a body outside. 
I'll dispose of him. What? Oh, it's us. Oi. Oh, poor thing. There's nothing illegal going on in there. No police reports, deem warnings, or suspensions, please. Oh, it's just, yeah. Were you standing guard out here all night? I did some reflecting while I was out here, and I thought about what you said all night. Yes, I'm greedy, and I'm desperate for money. One million dollars might mean nothing to you, but it means everything to me. I was quick to judge, but so were you. You don't know me either, so you can't shoot your mouth off about me like that. Also, I agreed to Mrs. Aldridge's request because I know she's doing it for your own good. What mother would hurt their own child? I only asked if he stayed outside all night, but that's nice to know. <laughs> Look, I don't know what kind of a sheltered environment you lived in, but not all mothers want the best for their children. I was slightly taken aback by how genuine he sounded. If it was, if there was more to what he was letting on, you look a little lonely down there. Oh, might I join you on the floor for a bit? Give me a chance to explain myself. It sounds like Hamden's. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna have him get closer. I'm sorry, I was too harsh last night. I can be quite the cranky asshole, but that's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. Did you just call yourself a cranky asshole? <laughs> Is she laughing at me now? I found myself fighting back a smile as her melodious laughter chimed in my ears. Okay, see the two of them. When things are smooth, they get along pretty good. Has she forgiven me already? She certainly won to wear her heart on her sleeve. I shouldn't have lashed out at her last night. I wasn't as mad at her as much as I was mad at my mother. Why did she have to throw an innocent person like her in the middle of our feud? Someone who looks exactly like that child. That child being the dead childhood friend he had who our character Luna shares the same name and is the spitting image of. Why don't you sleep? Well, he has bad insomnia. I was snapped back to the reality by her voice. I nearly drifted off. That has never happened before. We were seated along the corridor, but it felt strangely comfortable. I've never been more at ease. I can't. The words just keep my mouth, but I felt like I could fall asleep any minute now. I just needed a pillow or something soft to lay in my head. My eyes landed on her. Soft and fluffy like a sheep. So why did you accept my mother's offer? It's okay, just be truthful. Why are you looking at me like that? You said I didn't know you and that I was quick to judge, so I'd like to hear you out. Why? My younger brother is going to college next year and finances are tight. I wanted to help my mother's. Mother's. I'm adopted. Silence fell over both of us. Wait, what time is it? I don't know. Eight? Eight! My first lecture is at nine. I can't be lit on my first day of school. Oh no. College, not high school. No one cares if you're late. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Well, I was partially right. One night was all I needed to get her out of my apartment. But she's gonna come back home, but she found her way back after all. She's still here. Okay, what should I wear? Okay, so laid back oversized sweater. Let's, we have a lot of options here. Okay, that's cute and it's my favorite color. So let's look at the others. Cute and chic. Cute. Let's look at the other ones. Preppy in pink. I feel that's very her. I'm getting very her from this one. Scholar vibes. Ooh, it's kind of classy though. It's kind of like her leg going classy. And then stripes waist pants. Ooh, so she's very fashionable in this. Oh, I don't know. It's like the preppy in pink is actually kind of cute and I feel just suits her to a T. Laptop checked, pencil case checked. Yep, I'm all set. I don't know about y'all. Y'all can have your own opinions, but I feel this is a very her outfit. Okay, catch. Thanks. Calm down. I'll drive you to Yale. Really? Oh. They're getting along. Wait a second, are you driving under the influence though? No, you're yelling sobered me up, <laughs> but you only have 15 minutes left. Do you really want to be late on your first day of school? No, she's not trying to- let's go. Thank you. Wait, where are you going? Don't you have classes too? Don't know. Check your timetable. Don't know how it looks like. Are you really just going home? You're even worse than Alfred. It's nine, you're late. I'll let it slide today, but we're going to look at your timetable tonight. Also, be late. You know what? He, wait here. He's, 
we're not, he does so nice to us. We'll be a little late to our glass coffee for you. Thanks for the ride. We're gonna be nice. She got me a coffee, even though she made a huge fuss about being late. I feel that was the right choice to do in something Luna would. Is that Camden? Since when does he show up on campus? Oh, since I'm here, already here anyway, might as well visit the place. It's been a while. Who left a ball out here? Okay, Aldridge. Coach, what a rare sight. It's your final year already, huh? How time flies. Yeah, someone left a ball outside. <laughs> Who's that coach? One of my star players. In all my years as a coach, I've never seen anyone play as well as him. He was a shoe-in for team captain, but it's a pity about his insomnia. No matter how skilled a player was, I couldn't risk sending in a player without enough rest. He chose to leave when I had no choice but to bench him for the season. Okay, so he was a star basketball player then three years ago. You look like total crap, Aldridge. You didn't get enough sleep or something? No, we have sleeping issues, coach. Actually, coach, I can't sleep. What do you mean you can't sleep? Just shut your eyes and dim the lights. It's not that hard. No, he... He literally can't. This poor guy. Uh, look here. I checked your timetable. You have a class at 10 tomorrow morning. You want to sleep now. You need to sleep now if you want to have enough rest for tomorrow's class. Is this another one of your attempts to stop the party? Is it working? What do you think? We tried, but we shared a moment together this morning. <laughs> uh, you can't party every night it's inhumanly possible what is it going to take for you to stop what's it going to take to shut you up all right i've got it i'll stop the party on one condition finish this in one shot i took a whiff oh oh she's gonna, have to, she's gonna have to down it he was having it i immediately flinched the alcohol was so potent that it made my eyes water how does someone drink this neat I was recently inducted into the world of alcohol, and I was still on fruit ciders. Those were enough to get me intoxicated. Thought so. Just go back to your room and study or something. <gasps> oh, sit down it. You got- Oh, she did. There. Are you nuts? Do you even know what's in there? Scotch, whiskey, gin. Everything around me was spinning uncontrollably. I was vaguely aware of someone frantically shouting my name. Oh, gosh. Before it all faded to black. Okay, so that was the end of the chapter. So we shared a moment in the hallway together. We kind of learned a little bit more about each other. Luna's really trying to put on her big girl pants and stop the night society. And I was living for her when she was going off on everybody. Like, Miss Thing, she grew the backbone. She got up there as petite and cute as she is, and she went off. Then we had our first day of class that went good, and now... We're trying to stop Night Society Day 2, and on one condition, if we downed the alcohol, he would stop it. But we downed it. Clearly, our poor girl is not an alcohol connoisseur, and she cannot hold her liquor very well just yet or at all. Who really knows? And the world is spinning. So we're going to see where this leads, but we had a little glimpse in the fact that Luna's voice can kind of make him sleepy. We got a hint of that, so we'll see where that leads. But let me know what you guys think of this chapter. I loved it. I cannot wait to see where this goes. The art is beautiful. The story is amazing. I know I gush about this in every video, but I love Earl Grey T's stories. Amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go follow the amazing author and show support. Please, please, please. And I hope to see you all in this next video too, of course. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye, everyone.